Hello folks, Marco here. Today we're gonna test what are, in my opinion, the best free VST plugins for metal out there. Emissary by Ignitemps, Ninja by Nalex, and since I like also ML Sound Lab, I'm gonna include their most recent STVT. Quick disclaimer, obviously everything here is subjective. You should take my opinions for what they are. There is no good or bad. Actually, I consider all of them very nice, especially because they are free. But of course, each one of them has its own features. They may be more appealing to some of you depending on your particular workflow, taste and so on. Being that said, I'll judge them in different categories, such as the overall package, which means what you get with the plugin itself, the ease of use of the interface, the range of the knobs, or in other words, how tweakable are the parameters and how many different sounds you can squeeze out of them. Then more practical things like the separation and the articulation of the notes, the feel under the fingers and the dynamic range or if you want the sensibility to the input signal. For evening out all the infinite variables, the guitar, the pickups, the audio interface, my hands and so on, I will use the same IR on all of them. And I'll be using only free stuff. You can find the link to everything in the description below. This is the Cubase project. On the mix console, I have three audio tracks loaded with the plugins. As you can see, they're different because the STVT plugin has its own pedal section and a cab section where you can load a custom IR. For the Emissary and the Ninja, I have this gate, a Cubase stock plugin, and I'm sure Evdo has something similar. And since they don't have a cab section, I'm using NetIR, an impulse loader by Ignite, also free. The impulse response I chose is the ML Sound Lab best IR in the world, since it's free and very balanced. A small tip here, inside NetIR I'm high passing around 50 Hz and low passing at 10k, because real cabs don't have all these high frequencies, uh, the speakers have a pretty drastic fall off, especially on the end of the spectrum. Anyway, I'll play a little bit through the presets I made and uh, write me in the comment section if you recognize some riff. In 
game study we find a lot of controls so depending on your needs and your abilities you may spend more time dialing in a nice stone but it's very subjective it lacks the cab section so it could be more difficult to use especially if you're a beginner and it's your first time approaching irs with ninja we have a basic and simple layout it also lacks the cab section but i think it's easier than emissary maybe not easier but faster to achieve a nice sound basically because it sounds great right out of the box with everything at noon it's very organic stvt wins this category has everything you need in the pedal board section you find a noise gate a drive a delay a reverb but mostly the cab section where you find four very nice sounding irs and you can load your custom IR. Also, I like the fact that it gives you options, but not too many. Personally, I think that when you have too much, it can be overwhelming. Now I'm not gonna try every control here, it would be boring for you and for me. I will concentrate in what I think are the most effective ones. In Emissary I love the fact that you can change low mids and high mids independently. So this is the starting point. <laughs> I like very much also the depth and presence control. I mean, these are very powerful tools, but I think they still have a reasonable range. With Ninja, we have a simpler everything and I like very much the range of the knobs, even though it's very conservative. You can't push the sound too far, but you can turn everything to 11 and still have a very usable sound. This is the starting point. <laughs> We can push the mids. I mean, as you can see, I have the bass cranked up and it's not overwhelming. Even the presence knob you can turn up to 11, as I said, and it's still musical. In STVT we have a similar thing in terms of layout, but the range of the knob is completely unreasonable in my opinion. Let me show you what I mean by that. This is the preset I made. It definitely doesn't behave like a real EQ section of an amp, which I don't like. And it's the reason why I got a real different sound compared to the other two. Now I'm gonna play a minor major 7 voicing and I've set everything at noon on each plugin. Let's hear the articulation and the separation of the notes. Emissary. Ok, 
Okay, now let's hear CVT. Then let's hear Ninja. So my conclusion with the overall package is that Emissary was the best sounding, the most versatile and uh, had the best feel under the fingers, in my opinion of course. Then if you like modern sounds, Ninja is the way to go. To me it sounded more gent than the gent god uh, that is in CVT. You can't go wrong with Ninja because the knobs don't go too far, but to me it's a nice thing. One little thing I didn't like about Ninja is that it doesn't have the undo. If you turn one knob and you want to go back, you can't. For CVT, I was a little bit disappointed. I included it anyway because it's not for me, but it could be for you. If you want a plugin that has everything, has a pedal section, a cab section with 4 ML Sunlab IRs. And I think that the Mesa oversized one is great. It comes with presets, so even if you don't know anything about plugins, IR and whatnot, you can still have a nice sound. But if you know how to use an input loader and some IRs, I will recommend Emissary. I hope you enjoyed the comparison, the demos, the playing and whatever. I shall see you in the next one.